A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, well, basically CES 2019, I was introduced to Sennheiser Ambeo. This behemoth of a soundbar, priced at approximately 3500 US, surprisingly, can actually simulate the sound of 7.1.4. This was achieved by using Sennheiser's Ambeo technology, which means I can hear the sound coming from the side, the back, the top, and the subwoofer very distinctively, although the source is literally just one single soundbar. Problem is, it's $3,500. And it's huge. And it's heavy. So now, Sennheiser released the Ambeo Soundbar Plus. This time around, the price, including subwoofer, it's still about $500 to $1,000 cheaper than the previous Ambeo Soundbar, which is now called Ambeo Max. In terms of enclosure volume, the new Ambio Soundbar Plus is about 30% of the entire Ambio Max, which makes it thin enough to sit right at the bottom of your TV without blocking any part of the screen. Unboxing the new Ambio Soundbar Plus, you'll find everything you need to set up your soundbar. All you need to do is put the soundbar at the location you want, plug an eARC from the soundbar to your TV, and you're done. The remote control is of very high quality. It feels nice and sturdy in the hand. There is no play in the plastics. It's really solid. All buttons are marked very clearly. You need to be an idiot not to know what to do with the remote. And once you're done putting the soundbar at the location you want it and connecting the cables, all you need to do is download the Sennheiser Smart Control app to your smart device or in my case, my iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can do this by reading the QR code, or you can simply go to the App Store, and in my case, the Apple App Store, to download the Sennheiser Smart Control. Provided that you have connected the soundbar to your TV and power outlet, all you need to do is open the app and let the app look for your device. Because the setup information is very concise and accurate, I will not make a video about it. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions and you'll be fine. Going back to the unboxing, you will see that the soundbar is wrapped with really nice thick paper. Not plastic, so you know, it can be recycled and good for the environment. Just look at this gorgeous, beautiful little baby. Immaculately designed and gorgeously finished. Mark only with an obtrusive Sennheiser logo at the bottom without being obnoxious and mostly hidden in plain sight. The only indicator of the model number is on the very, very, very bottom right corner. And again, practically hidden from plain view. And here is the back with plethora of connections. You have the setup button there. You need, if you need to do a factory reset, you have it there. You got the Ethernet input, HDMI 1 and 2, or I mean 2 and 1, and this is for eARC. You can have optical input, you can have USB thumb drive input as well. And don't forget, you still can do record player if you, if you want to, with this um, analog RCA input. And you have pre-out for sub, if you don't want to use Sennheiser wireless sub. So you can use, I don't know, maybe like my MK Sound V12 Plus sub, then you can just plug it in over there. And of course, the power. It's not that big of a deal. However, please note that HDMI 1 and 2 are not HDMI 2.1, but it's HDMI 2.0. So here are the uh, compatibility list. It's compatible with Dolby Atmos, DTSX, as presumed. MPEG H Audio, this is big in uh, South Korea, in Europe, up here. That I don't know about. I have to learn more about this in the future. And of course, HDMI compatibility. Now, like I mentioned before, the HDMI compatibility, it's only compatible with HDMI 2.0 and not 2.1. It's not a big deal. You can always plug in your game directly to your TV and use HDMI eARC. Where it is? There. To connect from TV to the soundbar. So, yeah. And now, the subwoofer. 
This unit is an 8 inch subwoofer with 350 watts of class D amplification developed in conjunction with Fraunhofer IIS and can go down all the way to about 25 hertz. The subwoofer can be used as a wired subwoofer or as a wireless subwoofer. When connected wirelessly to the Sennheiser MBO Plus or MBO Max, users can connect up to four, yes, four subwoofers all at once. And all of those four subwoofers will work independently from each other depending on the calibration that you've done. So it's not splitting one output into four subwoofers. Even lifting the subwoofer out of the box, you can tell that the subwoofer is not a toy. It's 8.2 kilograms or approximately 18 to 20 pounds in weight with a very rigid enclosure, considering that this is a companion subwoofer. The packaging of this subwoofer is also just like the Ambio Plus. It's wrapped in thick paper, very recyclable. So again, it's great for the environment. The fit and finish of the subwoofer is impeccable, matching the luxurious quality of the soundbar themselves. And as you can see in the video, the quality is much better than most companion subwoofers in its class. And before I forget, both subwoofer and the soundbar can take voltages all the way from 110 to 240, so this unit can be used literally all around the world. All of that can be fine and dandy, but how's the sound quality? To test these soundbars and subwoofer, I use my favorite movie of 2022, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. As expected, the sound reproduction from the Sennheiser MBO Plus with a subwoofer is amazing. Putting the soundbar in my home theater with 8 foot ceiling and viewing distance of 9 feet from the speaker, I can hear very clearly when the sound comes from above the sides and behind me. Continuing watching Disney's Disenchanted in Dolby Atmos, recorded in one of the best recording facilities in the United States, the sonic reproduction is once again impeccable. All the orchestral pieces sound extremely wide and enveloping, without any sense of exaggeration whatsoever. Even listening to Dolby Atmos music from Apple Music is very enjoyable, especially that song, Michael Jackson, The Thriller, that's just been re-released. So, what is my verdict? Well, for a single soundbar solution, Sennheiser Ambio Max is still the number one soundbar in the world, with Sennheiser Ambio Plus being the very close second. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that stuff.